Hey everybody, hope you're doing great. Uh, wanted to share another Coach's Corner with you. Um, you know, I, I get so many chances to work with and learn from so many great people and, and I also get to share a lot of things with those, those same people. I was having a conversation with a guy the other day who uh, has built a really successful business, but it is, you know, the, the most bootstrap story that you'll ever heard. He had an idea, he partnered up, um, he, he thought it was working. So he basically put his life savings behind this thing and bought some equipment and rented a shop and he's just doing a fantastic job. But he's been so busy running the shop floor that um, he needs a little help running the business, if that makes sense. So, so making the parts um, is a huge part of a manufacturing company. However, making sure all of the pieces of the business fit together is, is another part. So uh, I was doing a, a talk with a group of people, a group of business leaders, manufacturing leaders. And during the conversation, uh, after the session, he pulled me to the side and said, you know, you said something that I've never thought about. And I said, what's that? And he said, the way I carry myself and the way I interact with my people as they watch me go through the shop, he said, I've, I've never thought about that. And I said, well, what do you mean? And he said, well, basically, you know, I'm, I'm, I move fast. Uh, I'm under a tremendous amount of pressure because I want to see this thing succeed. I've, I've got my life savings basically tied up into this organization. And, you know, right now business is good, but we're behind. And that puts stress on me. He said, when you mentioned to me that my people are watching me and they're watching my deme demeanor as I walk through the shop, um, he said, I've never thought about that. And so for you guys, I, the reason I wanted to share this with you is recognize if you have any sort of formal responsibility in your organization, your title includes supervisor, manager, director, vice president, president, C-level. If you have any formal leadership requirements, people are watching you. And if you um, carry yourself like you're stressed out, your eyebrows are furrowed, you, looked in, you look always too busy to interact with them, that's telling them something. Now, it's up to those individuals for what that's telling them, but in general, it is important as a leader to recognize that your demeanor, your, the way you carry yourself around your organization is being watched all the time, even if you don't know it, even if you don't recognize it. The way you respond to questions, the way you respond to interruptions, the way you respond to people that you're passing in the hallway or on the shop floor. Uh, it's hugely important that you recognize this. And as a leader, there's an added level of responsibility that you need to set the tone of being positive, of being available, of being supportive, of being encouraging. Um, as, be, uh, as being, um, you know, a, a winning way of thinking. So if, if things are tough, you're behind, uh, you're having challenges with, with employees, you're having challenges with the supply chain, heavens knows the supply chain is, is in a bit of disarray right now. But the way you carry yourself will have a huge impact on the rest of your organization. So as you're going through your day, recognize that your people are watching you. And if you feel yourself tense and you're uptight and you're stressed, um, find a way of keeping that away from the visibility of other people. Go to the gym, spend a few minutes saying a prayer before you go for a walk, watch something funny before you leave your office, whatever it is, recognize that your temperament, your mood, spreads through your office. Even if you don't recognize it, even if you don't mean it to, it's hugely important. Uh, so I thought it was a good conversation. I wanted to share it with you. I hope it helps.